Modena is an old small city. Some scholars believe the Etruscans founded it around 600 BC. It narrows the typical image of medieval Emilia with the elegance and the culture of the ancient capital of the House of Este. Modena Cathedral is a masterpiece of Romanesque art dating back to 1099, whose splendid architecture was conceived by Lanfranco. The bas-relief sculptures were created by Villigelmo, succeeded by the Maestri Campionesi, who passed down the task of completing the cathedral from father to son. The Ghirlandina Tower soars up gracefully next to the apse. Its unusual name comes from the marble balustrades, as beautiful and as graceful as gardens, which crown its steeple. The Piazza Grande, which is totally dominated by the southern side of the cathedral, is the very heart of Modena, and is the centre of civic and religious power. This city has a strong civic, cultural and artistic tradition, as well as being famous for Ferrari and Luciano Pavarotti. The Palazzo Comunale is a vast complex of buildings and houses the present town. Many rooms can be admired inside the building, including the Sala dei Confermati, where the famous Secchia Rapita, the stolen pail, is now on display, after being closely guarded in the Ghirlandina Tower for centuries. The Palazzo Ducale completes our virtual tour. This was the residence of Francesco I and his court and was built in 1635, but has been the home of the Accademia Militare, the military academy, since 1947. The academy is the only institute in Italy which trains officers for permanent service in the army. The third turret in the Palazzo Ducale close to San Domenico Church, is also known as the Camera Verso il Prato, room near the lawn. In 1747, this was the place where the House of Este transported its balsamic vinegar for safekeeping from the secret cellar. The balsamico was guarded jealously and only the family used it on special occasions or presented it to the VIPs of the day. Vinegar is known to have been used since very ancient times. Some populations use it for seasoning, others as a medicine and disinfectant. Roman soldiers used it to keep their bodies clean. Ancient populations especially used it for its therapeutic properties. Modena is at the center of a very fertile area where agriculture and industry have reached a happy alliance and grounds for development. The product called traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena has to be made from grape must obtained from vines that are wholly or partially made up of the following grapes, traditionally grown in the province of Modena. Lambrusco, Ancelotta, Trebbiano, Sauvignon, Sgavetta, Bersamino, Occhio di Gatta. A four-step procedure is needed to ensure a good product will be achieved. The grapes are first harvested and then pressed. The must is cooked and then aged. The grapes that are to be used for the production of traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena must guarantee that the fresh must is at least 15 degrees on the saccharimeter. Furthermore, the maximum production of grapes per hectare of vine of specialist cultivation cannot be in excess of 6,000 kilograms, with a maximum yield of fresh must of no more than 70%. The must for the production of the product classified with the protected origin is cooked in open containers over direct heat at atmospheric pressure for at least 30 minutes at a temperature of no less than 80 degrees centigrade. The cooked must is subject to sugar and acetic fermentation in special places used traditionally for production. The construction of the barrels. The first thing to determine when constructing a barrel is its capacity and the type of wood to be used, which must be seasoned naturally. The stages in the construction of a barrel start with bending and planing the staves. After the staves have been boiled in water for several hours in a specially made boiler, they're bent and kept under pressure for several days, so that they take on the correct inclination. After this, the staves are assembled using provisional hoops in iron. The iron hoop that holds the staves must be in proportion with the thickness of the staves themselves and with the size of the barrels.
At this stage, the interior is sanded down, and the tops are leveled and sanded down. Straight staves are rounded off and fitted together so that they fit perfectly. Then the coprogini must be made. Notches are dug out on the inside of the barrel towards both ends of the staves to form a circular channel where the top and bottom of the barrel will be fitted. Next, the top and bottom have to be prepared and assembled. According to tradition, there are 10 sizes of barrel used for balsamic vinegar. The smallest size is 10 liters, and then there are barrels containing 13, 16, 20, 24, 30, 40, 50, 60 and more liters. Achatei. These are known as achatei and must meet particular requirements regarding the environment and the temperature so that the product can mature properly. It must have the correct ventilation and be subject to the seasonal changes in temperature. A hole is made, normally a rectangle, in the top part of each barrel's body and is used for both inspecting the contents and for decanting and topping up the contents. It's normal for barrels that are more than 100 years old to be no longer perfectly tight. The barrel is therefore reclad on the outside so that the product stays in contact with the original wood as far as possible. The product is refined and aged by the continual decanting of the cooked must into small barrels or vessels called sets, which differ in their sizes and in the typical types of wood of the area. They're all numbered and marked. The barrels are all set onto supports at the same height and are normally stored in the attic of a house, as it's well ventilated and the barrels are exposed to the extreme temperatures that are typical in this area extremely hot in the summer and below freezing in the winter because these changes are needed to age a good balsamic vinegar. There are no fixed rules as regards the number, the capacity and the sequence of the barrels and the types of wood used but it's common to have a set of barrels with various types of wood oak, chestnut, cherry, juniper and mulberry with decreasing capacities starting from the largest barrel containing the youngest product to the smallest for the most mature product. The largest barrel is like a laboratory where the sugary must is transformed into vinegar. The liquid in this barrel is also used to compensate the natural drop in level in the next barrel due to evaporation. From year to year the liquid in the smallest barrel is topped up to the correct level with the contents of the previous barrel and so on, until the first barrel is reached, the largest one, which will be topped up to the level by adding the must which was cooked the previous autumn. The decanting is a very delicate operation which takes place by passing the liquid from a larger sized barrel to another smaller one. The tools used are funnels, glass pipes, buckets and ladles. A piece of thick gauze is laid over the rectangular hole in the barrel, the bung hole, to safeguard hygiene. The opening of the barrel is also protected by a particular shaped plug, which has a head that's large enough to cover the bung hole. After an appropriate time, not however less than 12 years, the fermentation of the sugar and the vinegar results in excellent ripening, aging and refining, without the addition of any other substance, except perhaps the grafting of colonies of bacteria known as the madre, the mother. The Tasting Committee Traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena can only be sold after the organoleptic features and quality of the product have been thoroughly examined by analysis of its appearance, smell and taste by special committees of expert tasters who assess its color, dark brown, full and bright density, considerable with the correctly flowing syrupy nature. Perfume, typical bouquet, fragrant, well amalgamated, penetrating and persistent 
with a pleasant acidity. Taste. Sweet and sour. The correct level of acidity, slightly aromatic due to the influence of the various woods used. The expert tasters use an analytic assessment file where they take note of its qualities and faults. By adding up the points awarded, they can ascertain if the product qualifies to be identified as a product with the protected origin, the traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena. Before the product can be put into bottles, the production and the origin of the raw materials used are subject to constant controls by a controlling institute authorized by the Ministry for Agriculture and Forestry Policies. This institute guarantees that the manufacturers comply with the rules and regulations for products identified as a product with protected origin. DOP, D-O-P. Bottling. In order to increase consumer protection, the product for sale is handed over and managed completely by the consortium. A sample is taken for an organoleptic test and then the container is sealed in the presence of its owner to prevent any possibility of tampering. If the product is judged to be suitable, consortium staff removes the seals on the container and puts the product into bottles. The consumer is given a further guarantee in the numbered pink seal on each bottle of traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena, which can be used to trace the manufacturer together with the consortium's label. These strict controls are to keep the product safe from adulteration and imitation. The label does not contain any reference to the year of production and or the presumed age of the product, but extra old can be put on a product with the organoleptic features of a product that's been aged for at least 25 years. The Giugiaro Design Studio designed the little cruet-shaped bottle with the square base containing 100 milliliters. This has been registered as the only authorized bottle for all the producers and has been authorized by the Ministry for Agricultural and Forestry Policies. Traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena. With a sweet and sour dressing, the one or the other component is noted according to the temperature of the food that it's used on. Therefore, there are a few rules that should be observed when using traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena to avoid distorting its balance of flavors. It's very difficult to indicate precise rules as concerns the quantity of the product to use. Balsamic vinegar is so precious that it's often used too guardedly. However, it's pointless to use too much of it. A teaspoon per person can be considered a just amount. Balsamic vinegar can be used in the kitchen on raw or cooked vegetables as a base for sauces, to complete first course dishes, meat and fish, and even on cheese, strawberries, and ice cream. On cooked food, balsamic vinegar should always be added just before the dish is taken off the heat, so that it has enough time to flavor the dish without losing its aroma. When the dish is already arranged on the plate, the balsamic vinegar should be added just before serving.
the Balsamica event. Over the years, Balsamica has been accepted as one of the most important moments for connoisseurs of good food and for lovers of traditional Italian products from Italy and abroad. The event has a very full program and is held every year at Modena between May and June. It's possible to take part in guided visits to become acquainted with the typical vinegar producers and cheese dairies in Modena, visit the wine country and the areas offering regional specialities, taste and purchase typical local produce. There are also conventions, the opportunity for comparison and study, short cookery courses with competitions for the recipes and other cultural events such as tours of the museums, abbeys and castles in Modena and the surrounding area. The Gala Dinner The Gala Dinner by invitation only is held in the Cortile d'Onore of the Palazzo Ducale, the prestigious home of the Military Academy of Modena, and represents the apex of events. Five of the most celebrated chefs in the world prepare their interpretation of traditional balsamic vinegar from Modena. Katsuyoshi Muroi, Tokyo, Japan. Heinz Winkler, Hasho in Chiemgau, Germany. Bruno Barbieri, Pedemonte, Verona, Italy. Enrico Cerea, Bergamo, Italy. Egino Massari, Brescia, Italy.